So my next person on uh, my list, which I actually found out about through your spiritual mermaid by you know following her, um, is Juju Bay. So Juju Bay is a podcast host, um, and she's also a uh, medium and spiritualist. And so I uh, found out about her podcast through your spiritual mermaid, and I have watched almost every episode. There is so much knowledge, so much um, information just about blackness and indigenous and African practices and who we are and who we should be and how to get to our freedom and all of the information is in there. So if you are on your journey and you're looking for how to expand yourself, this is a great way to find how to do that. Not only is there knowledge in this podcast, but there's also people in this podcast that you will be connected with and you can find your own spiritual teachers that you resonate with outside of the ones that I'm giving. You can find more people by listening to this podcast because some of these people I'm that I may mention, you may go follow them, you may go watch their video, and you may feel like, okay, well, they don't really, I'm not feeling it. But you could go to Juju Podcast, you can go listen to a few of her episodes, and you'll, I'm sure you'll be linked up with somebody who resonates with you. Um, and so that's what I really, really loved about, um, that's what I really, really love about Juju, and that's what she does she has completely blown up um with her podcast um through her podcast i have been introduced to two of my next favorite spiritual teachers um the next one is the people's oracle so people's oracle this is the uh, this is the sidereal astrology master okay she is the sidereal astrologer, not a, the, okay? So this is the lady who I'm learning sidereal astrology from. She goes live. She talks about the signs. She talks about the transits. She talks about what's going on in the world. She breaks down how certain things in your chart are reflecting certain things from your childhood, etc 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 and it's always mind-blowing i highly encourage you to go to her youtube or her instagram people's oracle and watch one of her videos it just might change your life she's one of these people who kind of like ajna she just gets right to the core of the situation um she's just really really real and um she doesn't bs okay um levon proverbs i also found her like i said through the juju podcast i love levon because she's also someone who makes me feel comfortable and close to home um because i was raised as a christian and so what levon proverbs does is she takes you know the traditional teachings from christianity and then she puts an african lens on those teachings and um she goes live on sundays and wednesdays but um she goes live on sunday and does basically a traditional church sermon but just kind of with a african twist uh or you know a, a diasporic twist okay so it's not traditional church but it has a little bit of both and that's what i love because i'm a person that i feel like you shouldn't disregard totally disregard 
what you came from, where whatever religion that is. But as you expand your spiritual journey, like remember where you came from and you can still keep certain parts of that, but just integrate the expansion with all of that so you can create a holistic spiritual practice for yourself, okay? Um, and so she kind of is helping me to do that. And I love her sermons. They, they really just are groundbreaking. So I highly encourage you to follow her at Levine Proverbs on IG. I think she has a Twitter too. Um, and tune into one of her IG live sermons on Sunday. They are at, she usually goes live at 1030, but I think the actual time is 1111. That's when she, that's when it starts. So my last two people are, um, I found these two people on YouTube. Uh, so this is Undunola the Oracle. Um, so this lady is, she's just kind of has that motherly approach, that nurturing approach. So unlike Ajna and the People's Oracle, she just kind of really just is more like sweet, like, come here, sit down, let, let me talk to you about this, and let me talk to you about that, and like really more like soft, and she's just so elegant and graceful, and her delivery is just so gentle, but she still be speaking facts and be speaking the truth, but she's just a little more gentle with it so um listening to her on youtube her videos they have been really great for me because um she kind of clears up just a, sometimes things can get confusing when you're on um uh, uh, when you're expanding spiritually, you may be confused about some things you see. And so I find that she has really cleared up a lot of confusion for me. And um, she also gives really good advice just about life in general. And like I said, the way she does it is really motherly. So, um, you know, it's easy to listen to her and not feel like, you know, uh, shocked or offended. So the last spiritual teacher, I'm new to this person. Uh, I just got on this person like a month ago. Um, but they got some fire content. Now let me tell you this. Do not go listen to this person if you can't handle the other people, okay? Um, this is the only male on my list. Uh, because that's the only, this is the only male that's kind of resonated with me that I've seen. Um, but he centers women in his teachings and, um, he bases all of his sermons that he calls, um, on, on his scholarship, on books he's read and he's really real down to earth, um, this is Douglas, Douglas Ashe Falk. So he goes by the name Ashe. Okay, so you can find him on Instagram at New Orleans underscore healer. Um, and you can find him on Facebook and YouTube at Douglas Ashe. A-S-E. Falk. Um, so... I'm not going to go, you know, too much into what, what all he does, but if you, but all I'm saying is if you are new to expanding your spiritual awareness, do not start with him because you're going to be like, Yeah, that might be the last one you need to check out. What do all these people have in common? Because I've given you a list of seven people. 
So all these people, they have their own personality. They have their own flavor, okay? So all these people, you know, they come with their own little twists. But they are so relatable. They are trustworthy sources for helping you uncover things about yourself. Um, and using these resources, using the resources that these people have created from their highest power, it will get you on point. Okay. So, you know, if, like, like I said, these are people that I have looked to throughout the course of my journey this year, especially. And um, because I haven't been, I, most of these, all of these people except Ajna, I have been, I have been um, looking, I have just been introduced to this year. Um, so, and this year I really made a pivotal 180, okay? This year, I'll be 20 four years old, January 4th, okay? So this year, not only did I, you know, make pivotal changes, but I also processed, you know, 15 to 20 years of childhood trauma and early adulthood trauma, and I had to heal that. Now, are there still parts of me that I'm working on? Yes, but for the most part, I've uncovered so many things about myself and I have either cut off the parts of me that no longer serve me or I've made adjustments to check those parts and I am aware of what I need to do to keep certain parts of me in check. So, but I, I I couldn't do that without kind of formulating a team for myself, okay? So you can make a team for yourself too. And although these people, they don't know they're, that they're on your team, it's like, you know you have a team. So you know... If you feeling all crazy, you know that you might could go check in with one of these people. You go watch their live. You could go um, watch their YouTube. You know, you could go book with them. And you know that they're going to get you on point. You know that they're going to shake you back. If there's something that you can't see, you know, for yourself, you know that they, gonna, they can have a certain level of clarity over you. And these are people that you can trust. Okay, so that's why I highly recommend these people. I'm not recommending one over the other. I'm telling you that all these people are on point in some way, shape, or form. So if you look at me as someone who is a trustworthy source, you need to also be checking out these people. Now, I'm going to mention one last thing. You are also a spiritual teacher. You are also a healer, okay? So although I've mentioned all these people that you need to follow and you need to go look at, um, you know, make sure that you're tuned in with yourself too, which is what I've been working on this whole year, but especially in the fall season as well. Um, then I even made a post quote about this of just, you know, it's okay to, to engage with, you know, communities, spiritual communities and, you know, spiritual leaders and community leaders and all of that stuff. It's okay to get on someone's live. It's okay to do all of that. But at what point do you just shut everything down? You get your journal out. You make your own YouTube videos. You do your own meditations. You know, at what point do you lock into you? Because I guarantee 
if you just lock into you for a couple of days, honey, honey, it's going to bring you so much clarity and awareness when you just block everyone out, when you tune everyone out and you just get in touch with yourself, okay? Centering yourself. Last but not least, if you're watching this, if you've enjoyed the content that I've created, I guess if you want to, you can consider me a spiritual teacher too. <laughs> Do I consider myself a spiritual teacher? No, I just consider myself a girl that knows some things. But, you know, I do have some good content that's been created out of just, I needed my own content. So I created them, okay? And so if you found that content and you feel like, wow, this resonates with me, you know, I just want you to know, like I just said, you are your own healer too. There were some points that even though I'm looking at my my team I created and my team is on point and my team is getting me in check. There were so many times this year where I had to be my own front runner. I had to get the con I had to make my own content because I needed to hear the content that I made. Okay? So don't forget about yourself. And understand that if you're looking at me and you're watching anything I've made, know it's coming from the necessity of me needing to heal myself. So, um, I hope that you enjoy anything that I've created in 2020. And uh, I know that I was supposed to make like one more video in the chakra series talking about alignment. Um, I did want to talk about alignment, but like I said, I had just got burnt out on the whole videos and all of that. So um, I guess I'll just give a brief description on alignment real quick. Um, alignment... So, you know, if you go back and watch my chakra content, you'll see that everything connects to each other really easily. And the way I discussed my chakra content was that, you know, it works at in levels. So you can't go all the way up to the crown chakra and be like, oh, well, I uh, my crown chakra is off. Well, if your crown chakra is off, your root chakra is probably off. You know, as so, as, what do they say? As so above, as so below, something like that. Okay, so, you know, you have to realize that everything is connected. And um, when, it get, when it comes to being in alignment, alignment is a continuous journey. So are you going to get into alignment one time and then boom, that's it. I'm in alignment, y'all. No. You have to continue to stay in alignment. You can get out of alignment just like you got into alignment. Okay? So it's not a one thing. It's not a one it's not a one time thing. It's a a continuous it's a cycle. Okay? So what you have to do is you have to, um, and it's also levels. Let me say that too, because you may get into alignment and you may stay in alignment with yourself for, let's just say you stay in alignment for yourself for a whole year. A whole year you're doing a bunch, a bunch of things that align with you. But then the next year you may be called to do something greater than what aligned with you for that time span. So is that out of alignment? No, you're just being called to step into the next level of your alignment, okay? So when you go into a new level of alignment, you still have to start from the bottom. 
you still got to start from the root chakra, okay? And, it's, and it gets easier because you already know what the process is. You already know how to tap into those different parts of yourself to get the answers you need, but you still have to do the work. You still have to be patient with the process and um, you still have to let everything just come in its given time. So, um, you know, I feel like everybody that we look up to, you know, all the celebrities and things like that, influencers, whatever, I feel like all of those people are people that are in alignment. They may be doing things that may look a little bit out of alignment, you know, if you're thinking in a traditional good and bad way. But what you have to understand is that in some way, whether what they're doing seems good or bad, in some way they're in alignment, okay? So, you know, if someone is famous because, I don't know, because they take new pictures all the time. Just a random example. Okay, well, you know, in some way that's an alignment for them. They're supposed to be using their beauty and their body to empower others. But maybe in the next chapter of that journey, they're gonna have to figure out another way to step into that same space, but in a different way. So. Um, you know, it's a journey. It doesn't end. It just goes up. Okay. And that's why like I, in a lot of my quotes that I've made, I've tried to make them about centering yourself. Not saying that you won't need other people because you need other people in your life. You need people to make you feel loved. You need people to make you feel accepted you need people to resonate with, but you should not get to a point where you stop working on yourself because you feel like, you know, oh, I'm, oh, I, I got it all together or, well, look at everybody else. They, they ain't doing what I'm doing, so I'm gonna just stop. You know, like, always find a way to center yourself because you want to be the main character in your story you don't want other people to be running your stage and running your show okay so um i feel like this kiki has been super long and it's been good enough and I really just wanted to pop back on here before the year was off, was done and just kind of give some closing notes. Um, I know everyone has been through a lot and hopefully I will see you guys sooner than later with another Kiki or something like that. And y'all take care, enjoy the rest of your year, and happy 2021 soon. Bye.